And the spokesperson for the International Committee of the Red Cross, Jason Strazusko, joins me now uh, with more. Jason, thanks so much for taking the time. We really appreciate it. Uh, we know the Red Cross helped facilitate the release of those two hostages in Gaza, now in Israel. Can you talk to me a little bit about the, the Red Cross's role in making this happen? Uh, so first thing I'd like to say is that the entire goal of all of our work is to alleviate humanitarian suffering. So that sounds theoretical and hard to, to gr grasp uh, your, your hands around, but the, the example here is a very concrete case uh, of this family being reunited and having all that emotional pain of that separation washed away. Our role in this uh, was actually rather simple. We play the middleman. We're the neutral intermediary. We have relationships with all sides and they understand that we're completely neutral. We have no political agenda. The only thing we're trying to do is uh, make advances on the humanitarian front. So we were able to uh, drive our uh, Red Cross land cruisers. Uh, we picked up uh, the two women and we drove them to the border uh, and released them into Israeli hands. And that was, simply put, our, our role. Now, it's, it's more complicated. Uh, and there has to be a lot of trust and faith in the parties because it's a dangerous situation. And that takes uh, this years of relationships that we have um, and uh, just a, a bunch of faith that everything is going to go as it did last night. Now, you play such an important role because you need a middleman when two sides just don't trust each other and, and, and they are at war. Can, can you give us any details? What was it like? Do you know? Did your people on the ground tell you how relieved this mother and daughter were? I think you can see it on the faces of, of the video. I don't have that firsthand information. It's, it's exactly the kind of question I would want to ask, too. Um, I will say that uh, one of the frustrating things about our role in these kinds of things is that um, at times it can seem like we actually don't share very much information, uh, such as what was their emotional state? What did they say when they saw you? But that's because we try to keep everything as confidential as possible in order to be able to continue building trust with the sides and be able to continue continue doing more operations like this in the future. Yeah, and we completely understand that. Um you know, you just want as much information as possible. We would never want you to give away anything that would, would hurt the job you guys do. Um, I'm wondering, what do people on the ground need most? What are your folks telling you that people in Gaza need the most? It's exactly what your, your team has been reporting on. Food, medicine, and clean water. This, uh, these, uh, this convoy of 20 trucks that came in today, obviously a, a huge relief, um, and hopefully the beginning uh, of uh, continuing deliveries uh, really good news, uh, this operation by the Palestinian Red Crescent and the Egyptian Red Crescent and, and UN humanitarian partners. Uh, my organization, the International Committee of the Red Cross, also has a fleet of trucks waiting to go in, 60 tons of aid, also filled with food, medicine, water. But you know you've been reporting, we've been hearing that the, the medical teams are working around the clock. They need a respite. We're talking about the surgeons, the doctors, the nurses. They need more materials. And the families that are living there, the hundreds of thousands of people that have moved to the two million people in Gaza overall, food's running low, clean water is running low. So this is these are all big concerns, and, and we hope to see uh, many more aid deliveries in the coming days. Jason Strazisko, thank you so much. You, you, your group is doing such amazing work, and I think the baseline here for most people is that they, nobody wants to see innocent people hurt or starve, and that's the whole thing with your organization. So thank you so much for all of that. We know the people in, in Gaza desperately need it. We agree with that. Thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.